What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back here at the cabin with a new video for you here today where we're going to be having a look at a lithium iron phosphate battery sent to us from LitTime to share with you guys here today. Now, when LitTime contacted me asking if I was interested in this battery, it definitely is something that's going to work perfectly for up at the cabin here. Being the cabin's off grid, we're relying on generator and solar to keep things up and running while we're not here. And tell you what, I'm impressed with this battery. It's going to go into the charging shed here. And let's have a look. Actually, there's a diesel heater. You may have uh, seen a few videos on that. And we're actually going to be using this battery with the diesel heater in an upcoming video. So we've got this lithium iron phosphate battery here, guys. Let's just get it over to the table and then we'll have a closer look at it. So here it is, guys. 12 volt, 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from LitTime. And I'll tell you what, could not be any happier with this battery. I've been using it for the past couple days up here at the cabin and it has exceeded all also expectations. Also included in the box, we have a quick start guide as well as a product manual. And these are actually quite nice. Colored illustrations, easy to follow. Product manual goes into more detail, charging instructions, as well as how to safely connect multiple batteries together. So we'll keep those handy. And you're also getting some post caps as well. Those over like that. All right, quickly having a look at some of the specs that are advertised online here. Lightweight, 11.17 pounds, 640 watt hours of energy, 10 years lifespan with five year warranty. Now this is impressive. EV grade lithium iron phosphate cells advertised to have more than 4,000 cycles at 100% DOD. So 100% discharge battery having more than 4,000 recharges. Now here we have 50 amp BMS, we're built in monitoring system, 100% protection advertised for overcharging over discharging, over current, short circuit, and overheating. Now here's some examples of what it can be used for camping, trolling motor, fish finder, ham radio. Obviously we're gonna show you what I'm using it for here up at the cabin in a moment. And here we have a side-by-side -side comparison between this lithium iron phosphate battery being 50 amp, 12 volt, compared to a 12 volt, 100 amp lead acid battery. So you can see you have more wattage hours with the lithium iron phosphate battery. It's lighter smaller and it has 3.3 times of the lifespan where a lead acid battery right here is showing three years lifespan compared to the 10 year lifespan with this battery. Cabin and get the battery hooked up. Very easy to carry. We got over here. I'm actually excited to uh, show you guys what I'm uh, got set up here to use this battery with. All right, so here we are. If you uh, follow the channel, you recognize this port I installed to the side of the cabin there. That was for the diesel heater. But now we're gonna be using it for a fresh air fan intake. During the summer, it gets crazy hot in there. There's no windows that open, so it's just dead air. We obviously can't leave the door open all night due to uh, wildlife in the area. But this fan, been using it for the past couple days and it's great, guys. Let me show you. So inline blower, usually you'll see these in a boat and just a two foot uh, connection there, adjustable connection hose like you would see maybe on a dryer for a washer. And then I 3D printed this front here. Let me show you. So I designed and 3D printed this bug screen. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see the bugs there. It's a good thing I did. But what this does is it draws the cool fresh air during the night out into the cabin and keeps us cool and very happy with how it works. I just got a couple clips I put on there and then just a voltage regulator to adjust the speed of the fan. So stick that back over. Let's pull this. Let me show you how it works. I'll get this all connected up and then we'll hook up the battery. Battery right there sits beside it and we'll show you uh, this fan up and running. We got the fresh air intake fan hooked up to the port. Let's pull the post caps here, hook up the fan to the battery. And over the past couple nights, guys, I've been using this for about 10, 11 hours continuous each night. First night when we arrived, we uh, had it running about 50% speed, fan speed, and it was great. Yesterday we were gone for the day. It was quite hot outside, about 35 degrees Celsius. And when we came back yesterday evening, the cabin was just cooking inside. So we cranked it up to about three quarter speed and again, running at 10, 11 hours, no issues at all. 
both nights, the battery didn't even drop to a level where it needed to be recharged. I did, however, recharge it with a solar panel. I think about a 50 watt panel I had on it for the day and charged it up just fine, no issues at all. So let me fire this up and we'll just crank it right away to 100% speed. I wanna show you how powerful this fan is. Now that's about halfway there. That's what we were running the first night. Second night, we we're running at about that speed. Now, it is a bit noisy outside here, but when we're inside the cabin, the door shut, it's not nearly as noisy and this worked great. Especially uh, as you saw with this uh, 3D printed screen that I made here, kept the bugs out. We had nice fresh air coming in to keep it cool. And this battery guy is very impressed with it. The lit time, lithium iron phosphate, 12 volt, 50 amp battery is perfect for this setup. Guys, we're gonna get ready to wrap this one up now. Thanks again to Lit Time for sending out this battery for me to share with you guys here today. Very impressed with how it performed. Looking forward to testing it out once it gets a little cooler out in the fall with the diesel heater hooked up to the same port. But for right now, if you wanna get some more info or even grab one of these batteries for yourself, links are down below in the description. Check it out there and we'll see you on the next one.